Now, Nancy and I have had the pleasure and privilege of traveling all over this great world of ours. We've been to England and Ireland, and over there. <laughs> and I know we were over there because when we were leaving, there was a sign at the airport yeah, that said you were now here. So I know <laughs> that we were there. We've also been to our good neighbors to the south, uh, Canada. We went to, <laughs> you know, we went over there to Tokyo, and also to the uh, other one there, China. <laughs> now I'll bet you folks out there in the press probably think I don't even know which China we went to. Well, I do. The big one. <laughs> it was the one with the wall. George, you've been there many times, I know. Well, you see, they've got more than one China now. There's mainland China, they've got Taiwan, where we didn't go, we don't... And there's also Hong Kong, they've got the Mandarins, the Cantonese, the Szechuans, the Hunans, and the takeouts. <laughs> but we didn't go there, but we did go to Hawaii. And let me tell you, those Hawaiianese happen to be among our staunchest allies in the Pacific. <laughs> well, before I go, because I know time is getting short, I want you to know that I gave your new president some wonderful words of advice before I left Washington. And I went in there that morning, if you can remember, George, I went in there one last time to the Oval Office and went over the, well, to the desk. <laughs> and I noticed that the jar, uh, the, it was uh, the door, I didn't know that there were drawers in it. I thought it was, <laughs> I, I thought it was something they brought up from props. I don't know. <laughs> I just get out of the plane and wave. But. If I had known that it had a drawer, I could, could have kept my crayons in there. And, but I left a note for George. I said, three words of advice. First, if things don't go too well, whatever you do, don't blame your predecessor, please. Number two, ignore your vice president, George. Vice presidents only get in the way. Vice presidents should be seen but not... Oh, I'm sorry. About that, I hope it didn't hurt your feelings. Some of my best friends were vice presidents. And thirdly, you remember this when I told you, if and when you meet with Mr. Gorbachev, whatever you do, don't stare at that spot on his forehead. <laughs> I wish you all the best, George. God bless you all, and good night. God bless you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.